Hello. Did I? Um. I'm not sure we need Markiplier right now. <clears throat> right, we're back with some more withering waves. My my webcam shouldn't die this time. I bet I'm running off like four hours. So uh we'll see how we go. You love drinking bleach? Pretty fun, isn't it? I got the lemon flavored bleach. One's pretty good. Um, what was I doing in this game? Oh yeah, going to the elevator. We had a dog, fed dog. Are the birds are interactive. Oh yeah, they are. We can kill them. My supermarket's closed at the moment. It'll be closed for another like nine hours, <laughs> unfortunately. Got mail. Wow. Um. Thanks for supporting the game. You get whatever the fuck that is. Some gotcha money. Gold balls. Blue balls. Silver coins. More blue balls, and more gold balls. Hog? We have trophies? What do we do? Start the game. <laughs> Alrighty, um... Wanna click this? Anna. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha exists. Hog. To close Firefox. There we go. Let's keep going. We haven't unlocked any features in the game yet, really. Well, kind of robotically, don't we? Or dog? There's walking. What kind of robotic? That's fine. Oh, an elevator. Up. Oh. I barely remember how to play. <laughs> Hello, Yang Yang. Ew, first time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. 
Are they all here for an audience with the magistrate? Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people. Whoops. What? <laughs> <laughs> all the people here have applied for an audience but they've all been turned down most P <laughs> I guess that's one reaction to have you don't want to see me? fine I'm pissing ah <laughs> uh, I believe this is meant to be turned down for what? Not turned down by who, but... Most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people, or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sunhua, and they were compelled to leave. What kind of description is that? Sounds like they've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. Who's Sanhua? She's the Magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round Death Glare slash Terminator Ice Beauty. That's a rather long nickname. That's what the rumors say, at least. Uh, perhaps the Magistrate isn't here? There is a small chance she's not in the City Hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Jinzhou. Yeah. Bodyguard Lady sounds like Medusa, except just scary, not turning people to stone. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the Magistrate to leave Jinzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the Magistrate of Jinzhou, leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. Unless she's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinzhou's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. Uh it's me they're waiting for. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Can holographic messages be pre-recorded? Sure it can. Have you thought of something, rover? Um... Wondering why the Magistrate wanted to meet her guest in person. You mean... Uh, how does she decide who's the guest and who wasn't? I can't really keep up with your thoughts. But I think a meeting with a Magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anywhere, Magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. Uh, what if I am the person? Then that's exactly what we're after. We're on the right track, then. You'll be getting your memories back in no time. What do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? I don't know. I don't know what. In that case, how about meeting with the magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. Okie dokie. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. What do you mean I'm not the VIP oh. the magistrate's expecting? That I go. 
Oh, that is a door. Oh, that's funky. We go. Please follow me. Go thing. I can't switch to walking after the step. Radically. Kindly have a seat. And look very comfy. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. Dear time. Doobly dude. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. Hello. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Wow, I, I called Madam it. Madam Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I fucking called it. The Magistrate isn't even here. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Hog? But as the Magistrate... Sorry. I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Did something happen to her? Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. Why is the question that says, why do you sound kind of like a robot? Um, like three days. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. Is there anything I can do to help? You... Me. I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. How am I supposed to know what the tokens represent? When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Got it. 
How'd you know I was the guy? Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. Huh. Why, thank you. I heard many people were politely asked to leave. Regarding that. My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You must walk into walls a lot. You. You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. In frequency? What's my frequency look like? You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. What do the frequencies of others look like? They all look different. For some reason, you can tell Sanhua doesn't want to continue this topic. So I guess she knocks us the fuck out because everything went black. May I have your terminal for a moment? Oh. Uh, I'm getting a number. You want my number? Indeed. It was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services like patrol stations, into your terminal. Yo, we got a number. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. Go well, thing. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. Hog? You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. And that includes the city hall? Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Oh. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you, in advance, here in the City Hall. Oh, that'll be handy. Home sweet home. I will lead you to your room if you need. Uh... I was gonna say yes, but I guess that won't be necessary at the moment. I'm really curious about this room, though. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Black fruit, a leaf, a small device, and a sugar pearl. Um. What happens if I talk to her again? Anything I can help you with, Rover? I'm sorry, my brain is too dead to think of any of that. But we've got questions about you, though. Of course. Please feel free to ask me anything, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Have we met before? I'm afraid not. I have never seen you before. If I had... I would never forget you. Anything I can help you with, Rover? Well, that's all. 
Holy shit, I forgot how high I can jump. I can jump over her with ease. Whoa. Dude, can I mess with it? Nope, I can just stand on the keyboard. Find me just sticky beaking. Listen. You hear the crisp sounds of wakey pieces being laid down on the board, followed by a long silence. But push the door. Door didn't budge. Fine then, knock on the door. There was no response. Maybe those inside are too invested in their game of wakey. Okay, I think I've had my fun here. <clears throat> oh. Out we go. This is a really weird door. Me just delete the key items. Hey, Yang Yang. Rover. Yes. It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? So, Madam Magistrate's not in the City Hall. <clears throat> Why the long face, Yang Yang? <laughs> it sure is. You're not Yang Yang. Shizia. The increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our Magistrate's absence. Plus... The mysterious rover. I'm afraid. Uh, before that, what do we get for dinner? Aren't you the practical type? I'd love me some chili sauce tofu, ginger mao chai, <gasps> spicy meat slices. Oh, I'm starving. Wait a sec. We still need to meet up with Baijiu first, right? Do you have any plans, Rover? Um. Not really. There's a three-day vacancy in my book. Fair point. A three-day vacation it is. That one. Let's go chill out then. We'll figure out the tokens when we have the chance. <gasps> Ooh. Reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do with these token puzzles? Maybe she's looking for a soulmate. A soulmate? Hmm. So, Madam Magistrate left some hidden clues in her tokens. Clues that only the right person would be able to decipher. But Rover has lost all memories and would likely forget any kind of decryption method they agreed on. Uh, it doesn't quite make sense. Or maybe she is trying to make Rover notice something else. Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens?
So, what's so special about them? Hmm. Take the candy. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called sugar pearls. But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. It was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. But what does it mean as a token? The small device. Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. Yep, sure does. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east. The white tiger stands for the west. The vermilion bird stands for the south. And finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction. But how could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh, that requires way too much brain power. Ah, oh, the leaf. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. Purple tree. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. Of oh, the black fruit. This is. A mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still... That's all. So Jizya and I share similar childhood memories of the sugar pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? Nope. When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. But uh, we should find Baiju uh Oh right. Baiju's still waiting for us at the academy. Ooh, level four. Oh. Fuck it. Talk to the children. Seen this candy before, kids? After a tense moment of silence, the little girl seems to have finally made up her mind about a great sacrifice. She offered you her hand, revealing a small piece of candy. Uh, I, I don't have candy like that. But I got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. Thank you, but why? Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. I just took candy from a child.
that make me a bad person? I feel kind of bad taking candy from a child. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Um... This module's installed in your terminal. Need for different circumstances, sure. Okay. See? Just open the utility. See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, Ugh. you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. That last grapple didn't really grapple. Felt a little pain off that one. That no more grappling? Okay. Oh. Whatever. Oh, wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? Okie dokie. If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. For real? Well, you only need to send me a terminal message as you shout. Then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Okie dokie. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. That's not... Rover, let's go inside. Oh yeah, candy from a child. the academy fly to my message she's probably busy in her lab over there must be mr mortify from the department of safety baiju once mentioned him before he might be able to help us get in touch with baiju but um it seems we've caught him at a bad time I'm glad there's subtitles. Can I touch this? Touch. Oh. Boring. This guy must be like the Luke's brother. Anyway. Let's try asking him, shall we? Well, everyone else just vaporized, so... What? You need something? We're here for... Baijia. Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baijia, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Vaja should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance. 
But he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. Children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. Alrighty. I assume he's important if we need to know any of that. Hey, Makima. How's it going? Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Hooray! Any discoveries during your trip to the city hall? I got candy. What do you think, Baiju? Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Yep. Yeah. Please don't destroy the candy. I want to eat that. Sounds good. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. Okay. Um, that's the thing Dr. Dude specializes in, right? Toes? What do you mean, toes? Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. You eat those? Um... Good thing I preemptively chopped off all my toes. It's a sundial. This one looks like the early handiwork of someone I know. It's lightweight and its design differs from that of the typical sundial. And it appears to be missing a part. See, there's a groove here. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the academy, Rover? Sure, we'll wait. Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. Okay. I'm still here. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. All right. Now let's begin if you're ready. Yep, let's get it over with. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? <laughs> hmm. Nope. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. Why turn into a monster? How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. Oh, what's that? No, I know what that is. What happens when someone overclocks? This is known as overclocking. 
and is categorized into three levels based on severity. The excess resonance energy harms both the resonator and their surroundings. In extreme cases, the excess energy can even manifest as destructive tacit fields. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. Good. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. Oh, that sounds cool. I use that as a metaphor to express my speculation. If such a thing existed within you, scientists would be eagerly seeking to understand it. There are so many mysteries about you worth exploring. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Alrighty. Firmly grasp the goal. That means simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Like normal. You've got it. Detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless's energy. Now, you will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Swift and resolute. the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it is not your resonance ability either. Hmm. we'll do another round to fully test your potential. Disperse. One with the sound. We have gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. No. Well, that wasn't a problem. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Good, Good luck making it to school, not... Too late, Makima. Guess she spent too much time eating people's toes. I'm back to the same spot again. And this moon. What is happening? The moon is rather lumpy. Are those tacit discords?
Oh. Grover. Grover. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake, Baiji. What happened just now? The connection was suddenly cut off. Grover, do you still remember what you saw? Um, uh... Yeah, I do. Thank you. Can you give us some more details? Uh... Giant Tessa Discord with a sigh. Fucking lumpy moon. A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. Might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again, to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. I really thought you were gonna like, make me uh, run on a treadmill and breathe into a tube, not go fight. But if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. You know, if this is how they do, like, a basic health test, I feel sorry for anyone who's, like, 80 years old. Can you imagine Grandpa trying to fight these things? Anyway, uh, thank you, Baija. I'll come and visit. I resonate with various resonators and weapons through beam. Efficient ways to meet reliable allies and collect powerful weapons. Gotcha. I unlocked gotcha. I have 42 gotchas. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Well, I feel like that was just predetermined. <clears throat> Three women. Oh. Um. 20% off. For those two. He's an event. And there's a choice banner you can select a targeted one, okay. Same with weapon. Well um Discount gotcha. Let's go. <clears throat> Go 
gun. Shoulder pad. Gun. Sword. Different sword. Rotate thingy. Gun. Shoulder pad. Bigger sword. Greetings, Worker. I will escort you for the time being. Sunhua. Oh. Let's go again. Chissa, ally of justice at your service. Are you the one in need of a hero? Converted her into an all. Alrighty, not bad. One more time. I'm guessing it'll go gold when we get a five star. Four star weapon this time. That's cool. Go again. Purple. Purple gun. Finally unlocked the gotcha. Five stars guaranteed. And this is our last go. Here comes a five star. Hog. Um, I wonder which one we'll get. Let's go, go. Oh. Greetings, worker. I will escort you for the time being. Second sun hot. Oh. Release the wants and the mind quiets. Cleanse the thoughts. And the soul clears. We got the middle chair. No. All that. Cool. Oh, and we got. 20 for the banner? <clears throat> wow. Let's fucking go. Not that I am ultra keen on Omi's design, but could be cool.
Ranger Donjing. Worry not. My Crimson Blade will not harm you as long as you haven't done anything bad. Not free woman. We really are getting gotcha like crazy with this game. They're like, hey, you've unlocked the gotcha? Have a lot of it. the chit chat tell me what you need and i'll make it for you provided your descriptions are reasonable okay we got the doctor dude the guy who was kind of rude to us just a minute ago what's this we can get gotchas okay radiant one is cool that's the banner and that's the not banner don't know what that is and it's just like engine these ones we can get these like monthly No. Oh, and then we can spend our watch <clears throat> Point shop. Yep. No idea. Simulation training store. No clue. And money. Yeah, nicely expensive. Bundle. Mean nothing. And the daily pass. Okay. This journey bring us closer to the truth. Oh, your team only has three people on it. Let me be there for everyone. As we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Cut down any threat in your way. Dragging me out of my lab for this. <sighs> you better have a good reason. Okay. All right. This shows all our people. Ah, yeah. Constellations or whatever. Wave back. Okay. Increase their crit rate by 15% for 10 seconds. 
No hay. Resonant skill boom boom. It will always be critical. That sounds handy. Can't ascend, but we may as well level up. Pleasure. Oh, and uh, I hate this, but uh. Actually, I love the game, but I hate that I'm extremely fucking tired. So I'm going to be calling it here, unfortunately. I'll definitely do more tomorrow. So tune in then, and it'll be a lot longer stream. Anyway, as always, I've been Azrael, and fuck you all, and fuck off.